How do folks? This here is the old mountain man talking at you from the back side of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. And oh boy do I got some good news. Well, I got me a fire steel order in a while ago that was just about made my eyes pop out of my head and I nearly swallowed my tongue. There's a fella in Tennessee, I'm just calling him Mr. Bruce, that uh ooh we he ordered he put in like let's see three forty five dollar orders two fifty five dollar orders and two thirty dollar orders and oh man oh man that just made my that what a way to start off the new year oh boy you want to talk about one happy camper I'm going to have money to put propane in the propane tank. I'm down to 25% on that propane gauge out there. That'll get me through the winter with a very low electric bill. You know, I got electric heaters and propane, you know, combination. But, hell, if I tried to run that central air, <laughs> I'd have a two or $300 electric bill every month. But a combination of propane and electric, that helps keep everything low. Uh, I just hope the price of propane ain't went up from $1.17 a pound or a gallon or whatever. But Lord, 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 mercy. That's how I got one of those pieces of base handler right here. Got it already drilled out. I had this setting aside. And I got, oh, boy. And the char cloth and the magnesium that's going to go with those orders is something else. That's that's a lot. Oh boy, this is something. I got enough work to keep me busy for a while. You know, this cold weather keeps me in the house. You know, here it is, 5:46 p.m. and it's already getting dark. And it's cold. I wanted to shoot this video. And I apologize for the video quality, you know, it being inside and artificial lighting with the light bulbs and all, but I just had to make this video and say thank you, Mr. Bruce, for your order. This hasn't, you know, an order this big hasn't happened ever. Yeah, I'm like, wow, holy mackerel. Yeah, buddy. I want to thank you. A whole bunch, Mr. Bruce. This is a, this is truly going to be a pleasure to fill this order and get it done and get out to you. And oh man, I'm just about dumbfounded. <laughs> can't hardly talk. Can't hardly gather a thought. Whew. Yeah, my dang sinuses bother me. This weather, the way it's changing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's a mess. You know, a couple of days ago we had sunshine and blue skies, 65 degrees. I was able to get outside and shoot a video where the lighting was good with the, the sunshine and all. Oh, boy. But, yeah, this is going to be a relatively short video. Uh, and I just just had to make it. Let y'all know out there that, you know, I'm not a wealthy man, I'm not a rich man, but by golly, whenever I get work like this, it just tickles me to death. And that's probably the reason why. You know, I don't don't have a lot. Don't uh, don't get a whole lot of work to supplement my very limited income. But by golly, whenever it happens, good. It happens good. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. You know, I've, I told Mr. Bruce on the phone, who who wants to be wealthy? You know, those wealthy folks, they got a lot of, a lot of problems. But really I got to thinking about it afterwards and I said it'd be, I thought to myself, it might, it'd be 
good to be semi wealthy or, or something like that because you wouldn't be wouldn't have to worry about you know food or paying the bills uh, you know just getting the necessities of life you know I'm living here in this in this nice prefabricated home that my folks left behind whenever they they moved to Oklahoma and you know I get I earn my keep I do all the work around here keep the place up keep the vandals away and all that because we're sitting back here in this little pocket in the woods and don't really have neighbors to look around you know keep an eye on the place so me it's my job to pull security and get keep everything watched over had a few little incidents here and there but I got pictures of all of it on uh, trail cams that I got posted on the property more of those trail cams they low price security and they're very effective day or night and all those hunters out there in the YouTube community that use those trail cams you betcha you know what I'm talking about and that dang sure takes care of business yeah goodness yeah well well I was just I'm thinking about that whole wealthy semi wealthy thing it'd be nice to have a rich uncle somewhere that I didn't know about <laughs> inherit some money yeah but yeah oh dang it's yeah I, I wish to God we didn't live in such a monetarily driven society with the fiat dollars and you know big coins and, and silver and gold and such and people could just trade for what they wanted you know trading that's what we call bartering back in my day I first heard the word barter I said what the heck's barter uh, I don't know so I had to look it up yeah, that's where education comes in. Never stop learning. Never stop learning. Oh. But, uh, shoot. You know, people, they, they say money can't buy happiness. Well, it may not buy happiness, but it can sure relieve a lot of problems. And yeah, especially in a case like an old boy like me. Yeah, if I had enough to pay for everything every month, all month long, and not have to sit and, and think, well, how am I going to afford this? It's not, I can't afford this, but how am I going to afford this? I shuffle money here, shuffle money there, and stock up on this item so I can, one month so I can buy something, stock up on something else. It, it gets worrisome. And anyone on the fixed income knows what I'm talking about. You know, shuffle a dollar here, shuffle a dollar there, save your pennies, dimes, and nickels, and take what work you can when you can. But by golly, that uh, I'm still, I'm still just kind of like in a in a sense of. Uh, almost disbelief or, or uh, excitement not disbelief but excitement I talked with Mr. Bruce on the phone uh, we got to talking back and forth and, uh, through the email and I told him it's just I said here's my phone number I said let's let's get this order straightened up and straightened out and uh, tell you what we got what I got on hand to make these fire steel orders up finally got it all hammered out we talked a while about this and that and something else you know just a couple old country boys on the phone just just uh, talking away I enjoyed that now I reckon I'm about to get off of here and get myself to work getting them forest pa building packages put together <laughs> yeah buddy 
Well, y'all take care now, and this is the old mountain man signing off from the backside of this here lake, getting myself to work. I'll talk with y'all later.